Well, hi there. Well, today I want to say a few words about the dinosaurs in my home state of Texas. The dinosaurs of cowboy country, if you will. I'm Robert Font, a certified professional geologist and a proud member of the AIPG. I'd like to point out to you that the lower part of the Glen Rose Formation that we find in Texas is famous for its uh, dinosaur tracks. The lower Glen Rose was uh, deposited in uh, warm, shallow, uh, near shore uh, marine conditions. The lithology uh, consists of limestone interbedded with marl beds and sandy clay. Sand content uh, decreases upward in this uh, lower portion of the formation. Uh, the limestone is also uh, highly fractured. You can see some prominent join sets in the picture here. The lower Glen Rose is uh, highly fossiliferous. Uh, this portion of the formation is pervaded by pelecypods and gastropods. The main pelecypods uh, are Austria, Pecten, and Exogyra. And the main gastropod is uh, Turritella. You can also find some uh, circulate worm tubes, as you can see on the picture here. Uh, you can also find carbonized wood and some uh, vertebrate remains. But listen, the, the lower Glen Rose is really well known because of the dinosaur tracks that you find here. Uh, currently, the best place to see these tracks is at the Dinosaur Valley State Park near the town of Glen Rose. I can tell you that when I was an undergrad student uh, working on my bachelor's degree at Baylor University, I was able to map many of these tracks. One type of track that you find here, uh, and the most impressive to me, are the ones uh, of a theropod, a carnivore called Acrocanthosaurus. These are three-toed tracks, and if you feel them, you can even see or visualize how they taper towards the claws of these uh, beasts. Another type of track that you find in the area are the saucer-shaped sauropod tracks of the herbivore Pleuroquellus. Now, these were big, big dinosaurs. A third type of track that you find in the area belongs to uh, another herbivore, an ornithopod, uh, Iwanodon. The tracks are three-toed, but the toes are less elongated and more rounded than those of uh, Acrocanthosaurus. Well, in summary, the uh, dinosaurs of cowboy country are Acrocanthosaurus, a carnivore, 38 feet long, weighing about five tons, 16 feet tall, the giant Pleuroquellus, a sauropod, a herbivore, 50 to 60 feet long, weighing 10 tons, 30 feet tall, and uh, the uh, herbivore, the ornithopod Iwanodon, about 30 feet long, weighing about five tons and 16 feet tall. Well, that's it. If you want to come to Texas, to cowboy country, to see dinosaur tracks, come to Glen Rose. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.